In this video, I will show you how you can create this mirror effect using Photoshop. So let's get started. What's up guys, Dhruval here and as you can see this is the final output and for this effect I will be using this photo that I found on deviantart.com and if you want to use the same photo, the download link is in video description so feel free to use it. Now let's look at the final effect. Now it's, it's a simple effect but if you are a beginner, things can get a little confusing so just pay attention closely, nothing else. So let's go back to original file. You can go to file menu and open any file you like. Now first thing I want to do is unlock the background so I'm going to double click on my layer and hit OK. After that you have to select your crop tool from here. And in the crop tool you have this option for uh, putting in the numbers. So here you have to put in 1920 uh, and here you have to put in 1080. So you will have simple HD format uh, which looks really good. So now I'm going to go and confirm it from here. So image is ready, now we can start working on it. So first thing I will do is make a copy of it. So I'm gonna press Ctrl J. Uh, so we have a copy in case we screw up something and then I will rename the layer zero to backup. Then we need to create a blank layer. So click on the second last icon. So we have blank layer and put this under your layer zero copy here. Now turn this off for a while and also this so we can only see this layer uh, which is empty. So now go and right click here on this icon and select your paint bucket tool and make sure your color is black and fill it. Now turn this on. So we have this layer on top and we have this layer zero here. And keep this layer shut down, we don't need it. So now I'm gonna select my layer zero copy uh, and here in the tools I will select my marquee tool. You can right click and select rectangular marquee tool uh, and I will make a selection of it. And make sure that you select the parts only inside the hair uh, that looks really good then you right click and then you select a uh, layer via cut so as you can see now that piece uh, it's on a different layer so we will turn it off for a while so we can focus on rest of the image and I will select my layer zero copy once again and then I will make another selection here like that Make sure you do not cut out the eyes because, uh, because that doesn't look very good. So select that, right click, uh, layer via cut. Uh, I will turn this off again and select my layer zero copy. Uh, and then I will start working on this one. Right click, uh, layer via cut, turn this off, uh, select this one. And this time I will select only the middle portion like that. Right click, layer via cut turn this off uh, layer 0 uh, now I will select the entire eye uh, right click uh, select layer via cut turn this thing off uh, select layer 0 copy back again uh, cut out this portion right click uh, select layer via cut uh, turn this thing off again select layer 0 then I will go and make the final uh, shape here, right click and select layer via cut and turn this off. So at the end it will look something like this. You will have your entire image in uh, different layers uh, and this thing uh, it is useless now. So you can select this layer zero copy and delete it. Now you turn back all of these things on. So you have this uh, layer here which is in uh, different pieces. Now we are going to spread all of the layers on the canvas. So for that first of all I will select my layer, zero, layer 2 here as you can see uh, and make sure that I have selected my move tool uh, and now you can move the separate piece uh, just like that but you have to hold your shift key so it stays in a straight line and it doesn't go anywhere else. So hold your shift key and put it here and make sure you have selected move tool. Uh, then same for the layer 3 as you can see here so I'm gonna move it here like that uh, then comes the eye uh, and I will put that here uh, then comes the middle part and make sure it is in middle properly now layer 6 uh, so I'm gonna put layer 6 a little bit here then I'm gonna first of all move my layer 8 uh, to uh, in different space here uh, then select your layer 0 uh, and put it here 
now just in case if you want to move all of them together uh, you click on the layer 8 uh, whatever layer is at bottom hold your shift key and click the layer that is on top so you have selected all of them now you again hold down your shift key and you move it wherever you want uh, so i think here it looks pretty decent now most of the hard work is done so activate your layer 2 and turn off i for your uh, this black layer so turn it off and again activate layer 2 and then I'm gonna go and create a new blank layer on top of everything and make sure everything is shut down and you have this transparent background after that you press Control, alter shift and E so as you can see it made snapshot of entire document in one single layer uh, so once your snapshot is ready you double click here and you uh, rename it blur and then you make copy of this snapshot uh, by pressing Control J and you rename this copy uh, to dark strips now uh, for a moment turn off eye for this dark strips and select your blur layer then you go to filter blur and then you go to Gaussian blur now in the Gaussian blur you have to make sure that uh, it is not way too much otherwise it doesn't look very good so it should be enough that we can see the details after that hit OK now you take your blur layer this one and you put it at uh, bottom of your last strip here as you can see and top of your black background exactly here and after that make sure you have selected your move tool you hold down your shift key and you move it a little bit here until uh, as you can see this two piece uh, as you can see they match properly and make sure you have a little bit space in between them uh, let me turn on the background so you can see properly uh, so on the black background it looks something like this uh, so let's go and select blur layer once more uh, and now we can move it however we want so make sure uh, this two piece in the center they look proper uh, and the rest will set automatically now once this is done uh, uh, let me take this dark strip layer and I'm gonna put it under my blur layer uh, and then let's turn on the strips for this one uh, and this one hold your shift key and I'm gonna move it on the left side as you can see and make sure uh, this two piece they match uh, together properly as you can see this two one so that looks nice and now I'm gonna go and turn down opacity to 50% uh, or something like that and the basic mirror effect is ready and you can always go and adjust the uh, individual like parts uh, if you like them so as you can see this looks really good so after a little bit of adjustment uh, the mirror effect is ready and now it's time to decorate it and for that I'm gonna go and create a new blank layer on top of everything and then you right click on your bucket tool and select gradient tool uh, and in your gradient option make sure you have foreground to transparent and your color here is black so I'm gonna go and hit ok now after that make sure you create blank layer okay uh, so once everything is ready you hold your shift key and you drag it a little bit here like that and the same way you hold shift key and you drag it a little bit on this side so now we can focus more on the middle and it looks much better now here comes the final adjustment layer and for that you go to your adjustment layer and you select gradient map now personally I really love it how it looks in black and white but you can go and click on your gradient option uh, and here you can click on this little icon now this is for people who have CS6 or CC so you click on this little icon here and you select photographic toning uh, and when it comes you click on append so now when you go in uh, you have this really cool different gradients now if you have older version of photoshop uh, select this violet and orange this also works really good so i'm gonna go and select the sepia 3 uh, th uh, this works really good for me so after that i'm gonna go and hit ok and i will change its blending mode to soft light now if you think it is really too much dark uh, you select your gradient layer and you turn down the opacity a little bit so you can see the details only if you want so that's it and this is the final output it looks very simple but it can be little confusing so if you have any questions or suggestions uh, feel free to ask me in comment section below and i really hope that you guys learned something from this video if you did hit that like button uh, until then goodbye take care and have some fun with photoshop